How's it going guys? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic sim and today's video we're we'll finishing up the work on the 1971 Mach 1 Mustang. Super excited to finish up. I think it's going to look really good. Mach 1 Mustang, one of my favorite Mustangs of all time. Uh, also in the shop here, I guys, I just got to show you guys this now that, now that I got it. I've got a 2022 Chevrolet Camaro ZL1 uh, NASCAR Cup car. Uh, it's missing a lot of its a lot of its parts. There's a lot of parts that go into this thing, uh, but I'm super excited to work on this. But first up, we got to finish off the work on the Mach One. So starting off, I'm hopping the engine bay. Figure out what we need. Got that our steering is there. At least that radiator works. There's our other one. All right. Going here. Power steering windshield washer then i think let's see that'll works as our radiator and reservoir combo is there anything else to put in here nope that's pretty uh pretty simple middle muffler rear muffler v8 overhead valve let's get that performance part middle muffler two i didn't actually check and see if there was a catalytic converter hopefully there is and v8 or hit valve the classic rear muffler Let's see. yep there was oh no so exhaust pipe v8 overhead valve a okay i got all that let me go in here as well fuel Tank. Check. All right, I'm gonna get this thing popped up in the air, and let's create a new motor. So we're gonna go with the 6P, which is I'm pretty sure these orange ones were Dodge specific. I think. Uh, I don't know if you would you guys know uh, because we have the Mag, which I'm pretty sure is in the Charger. Because I know it's, it's one of the only orange ones. And same with the 6P. It almost it also might be the Barracuda that it is in. But I'm not sure. But 6P's got more power. I think it's got a triple carb on it. So that will be what we are going to start to build here. So I'm going to get this thing all built up. And I'll see you guys back here uh, ready to rock and roll with that. All right. So here is the motor ready to go. All nice and basically modded out let me show you all the parts on it yep yep okay so this thing took a lot of performance parts probably is not not as many as i was hoping for like the v8 uh uh the double overhead cam ones those take a lot more parts but i think this one will still do pretty good it's got three carbs on it so we'll maybe get nine percent gain in horsepower and get on down here get these Exhaust pieces fitted. The fuel tank above here. Pump in. Oh, wait. I think I gotta take off these downpipes. Yeah, I don't think you can, uh, I don't think you can do that with the downpipes in. Gear boxes, overhead valve that pretty sure that's the one we need and let's install the 6p okay definitely need to change the <laughs> the color of the uh engine bay but regardless of that if it, it looks pretty good if it was all black in there it'd be really good or if we had like a purple uh barracuda that'd be be pretty good as well oh that's overhead valve f that's way more expensive than the one I was going to put on there. The overhead valve D. Hit overhead valve D. Which one is it? Front exhaust section. So these are the downpipes. Okay, yeah. These are the... Those are the cat. Three, four, five. Do we have a starter? We do all have a ton of starters. Drive shaft. That drive shaft is not gonna work. If I tried to put that thing in, it would 
uh, probably snap on the first rev up. The first launch. All right. Drop this down. I think the... I think everything is pretty much in then. Except for... that part oh and the fuse box this thing is absolutely trashed let's see i think i'm gonna need a fuse box cover let me see here though not feud uh grab cover i'm gonna grab five of these because i know i'm gonna need, i'm gonna need a ton hopefully i don't need any more relays Dang, I do fly through relays, though. Really, not too many fuses in this compared to modern-day cars. Also, these massive fuses compared to the, the micro ones. Uh, oh, we need more fuses. Ooh, do I have enough? All right, we got enough. Now, does that put us out on it? Yeah, there we go. All right, now that we're there, I'm going to start... Topping her up with some oil. I'm uh, gonna add a reservoir. Not reservoir, uh, power steering fluid as well. Uh, brake servo cap. Brake master cylinder, brake servo. Whatever you guys wanna call it. This thing does not have ABS, by the way, so <laughs> that's not ideal. It's all right. Should, should never be out in the uh, on gravel or in snow, anyways. What is this last thing here? One, two, three, four, five. Yep. All righty. I think that that should do it. Let me move it to the test path. We gotta get these new tires and wheels aligned. I mean, I don't think the first ones were aligned, anyways, but. Definitely gonna get these ones aligned. Good. All right, let's take you on over to the paint shop. I wonder if they let you paint the car without washing it first. All right, so this is what they're showing me as the factory color. Not bad, not bad, but this is the color I want with live breeze. Ram Air 429. Oh, yeah, that's for the Cobra. We didn't do the Cobra, but what else do we got here? Just white and nothing. All right, we'll go with black. So uh, the 429 is not in there. Oh, that looks crazy. But you know what? It's all right. We'll, we'll, we'll still run with it. Still run with the library just because it's the only one I can put on. Trying to see how that paint looks. That's a lot of orange peel on that paint there. Oh, it's solid, that's why. There we go. Gloss looks a little bit. Yeah, gloss looks a lot better. Solid is solid's like matte, but it's like it's like someone gave it the worst orange peel paint job ever. Yeah, see there the body lines look a lot better there. Alright. We'll layer it on. Definitely a little bit of a darker color than I was wanting to do, but I do want the metallic shiny look on this one. And it really does reflect the the lights a lot. All right, over to the dyno. I think I already had something on the dyno. Oops. And we are four gears. Crank that bad boy up to five at least. Uh, make the ratio a lot heavier. 53, 238, yeah, yeah, we'll go with that. So there's no ECU, so we gotta tune in here, which is considerably easier than doing the other way. So there's, wait, oh, it didn't save, no. So like this one, all right, I think I got them all good to go there. Awesome, so that is a 9% gain in horsepower. All right, so 390, we're hoping, hoping and praying, uh, 780 maybe, maybe double it, maybe probably closer to 7.
the older cars are always always harder to tell on. Ooh, does sound good though. Okay, okay. Oh, okay, not bad, not bad. 746, 92% gain. Well, honestly, I'll take that. That's it's about on par for where I was hoping. Uh, this thing also insane amounts of torque. Oh my gosh. Like that is absolutely crazy amount of torque there. All right, let's take this out. I want to do a little test drive. It does have racing tires, so not slicks, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, power steering fluid. What do you mean? I could have sworn I put the power steering fluid in. Maybe I did. Thought I put that in. Weird. It's a good thing I didn't need to steer it much. It's a little manual steering, you know? Alright. Now we can take this go to the speed track actually basically a uh basically a drag strip middle of the desert it's pretty much it's just like a secondary highway all right Not bad, one one fifty. Definitely not as good as I was hoping. Let me see. I think I forgot to save the gearbox tune I put on it because I know I put five gears, and I know my first gear was supposed to shift out at about forty nine. So that that wasn't quite <laughs> wasn't quite what I was expecting. Yep, yeah, that's that's the that's the culprit right there. Uh, I'll go 226. See if I can get, see if we can hit that. I'm pretty sure we can hit that pretty easily. All right, now we'll give it another shot. Speed track, go back out. 7,000 feet long, is that what that said? So, like about three miles. I think. All righty. Oh yeah, that's a lot smoother now. We're already in fifth. Oh, we're hitting the under the runway. Oh my god. <laughs> Hey, there we go, though. 206. Not too bad. I think this is basically a runway here. But there we go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment down below. Uh, I absolutely love the Ford uh, Mach 1 Mustangs. One of my favorites of all time. I love the, the really, really uh, steep slant on the rear windows. I wish we could do the window louvers on it where you put them on the back here, but... That's maybe uh, maybe in the mods, not in the DLC. But thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, leave a like down below. And I'll see you guys in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.